any five books that you suggest to the audience, to those who are watching us right now? Your favorite five books. Please. Okay. Uh, <laughs> one is, you know it. Two is, you know it, my book. <laughs> yes. Okay. Three is, uh, I will recommend you, uh, you can read Khalid Hussaini's book. Uh, the Kite Runner the Kite is Channel. amazing story about yeah. Afghanistan. Thousand Splendors and wonderful. You know, make sure you carry your handkerchief. Yes. It will make you sober cry and all those and right now i mean since you want the fifth book yes. okay i'm invited as a guest <laughs> oh. i have to promote this book a patch of heaven wonderful story i mean uh, if you like suspense yes if you like you know theme regarding greed power redemption yeah pick this uh, patch of heaven as your fifth book thank you Tariq. it's a wonderful pleasure as a biratnagar ma wonderful city uh, this is my third time and being welcomed so gracefully, I feel honored and blessed. Thank you yes. very much. I'm going to tell you about Nithomaz on me. I've been here for three years, and I've been here for three years. Then where did you start your education from? Okay, I started my education from Kathmandu, the school named Gyanudai Balbatika. Uh, I got my plus two from there. I completed my Master of Arts in Liberal Studies yes. from uh, the University of Finlay. And then I also did Cinematic Arts that really enhanced my writing skills. That's why I penned these two books. And after that, recently, I completed my master in philosophy and fell from Kathmandu University as a development uh, expert. Talk about uh, your relation with writing, mm -hmm. your relation with books. When did you thought that, uh, yes, I should also be a writer. I have capacity. I can be a writer. When did this thought come? First time uh, from my class, there were like so many submissions. My writing got published. I have the copy, like special oh. one. And then I thought like, OK, I can be a writer. Then every year. 9th, 10th, it got published. And then, okay, okay, my writing are getting published, where my friends' writing were not getting published that time. So obviously I thought like I had some natural abilities in terms of writing. So after that, in plus two, uh, we had that uh, nationwide competition, AC competition. So uh, out of like maybe thousand students, I won the fifth prize, I won't lie. I would have said first, but no, okay. I won the fifth prize. And then uh, in my colleges also, I started writing. Came to realize like, okay, I have this special writing talent. Okay, it could be the heredity because my dad happens to be a writer too. Yeah. Uh, and then I thought like, okay, let's go for a big one. Because, you know, when you want to be a writer, okay, had I been a doctor, my basic uh, ultimate goal would have been, I want to be a top surgeon. So I've studied literature. I wanted to be a top writer. So, I mean, I have to start something. So I started painting the book. So from class eight until now, I have two books. I write articles on uh, national dailies uh, regularly. So this has been my writing journey. Just the start, I will say, I have a long way to go. It's such a special meaning because first book, first love, <laughs> something that is first is always have a great connection. So about reviews, okay, I have uh, like more than 500 review, reviews in Goodreads and where I really get happy. I mean, there are random reviews, obviously. Yes. Uh, and when somebody say, when I was reading that one, I get connected to my village. The name was different, but they thought like Rolpa is their village. So that makes me really special about the title and writing the book. Oh, you're talking about the time period I used. Uh, uh, I uh, used a good two years to complete the book uh, from the first day I started. But After the publishing of this book, did you, in the beginning, mm -hmm. did you thought that our international bestseller so when the book was initially launched and I started, you know, like it's the word of uh, mouth, you know, people liked yes. it and they started referencing it to them. And I have a connection in USA because lots of my friends were in USA. And when my uh, university promoted the book in their circle, it uh, you know, sold like a hot cake at that time. So it uh, eventually became the international bestseller at that time. And right now also, you know, uh, word of mouth. Uh, right now I'm giving interview uh, to you, not because uh, for anything else reason, because we are connected through yeah. the book. So this is how it worked and slowly and steadily started doing good and right now I'm getting an uh, invitation. So today I'm here in this uh, beautiful city, Biratnagar, because one of my friend Sandeep Kattil has written his first uh, novel, A Patch of Heaven. So on the launch program I came here. So this is how I'm getting it and the book is doing pretty good. To go in some extent inside the book, what kind of theme it contains? Why a reader should read this book? Read this book because this is a very simple story of an American guy uh, named Joshua. He comes to Nepal. Okay, why he comes to Nepal? I'm going to keep it as a suspense. You got to know it yeah. and make a conclusion about Nepal. Good conclusion, bad conclusion. Mm -hmm. That's something your readers will know and he will start comparing the cultures. 
Okay, American culture, Nepali culture. Sometimes they find Nepali culture is too good. No, no, American culture is too good. So now he is all in that cliffhanger, which one to promote better. So this is how the book moves. And After listening to you, it uh, <laughs> feels like I should start it right now. Absolutely, do it today. Uh, okay, I will, definitely. <laughs> who are preferable? If a student who passed his plus two or ten, can he or she get all the contents inside it? How much uh, difficulties in reading this book? Basically meant for the student who, in Nepal who have passed their high school, plus two. Plus two. Because, uh, I mean, there are a few contents that might be a little disturbing for somebody who are very young. Okay, for plus two, I think, yeah, the, the writing is basically very simple. But, you know, obviously being an international novel, there are a few words. But isn't that an opportunity to, they can learn, like, yes. from this book, I will guarantee. Uh, they can learn at least 100 new words. And for the price, it's a good deal, right? And the story is always a bonus for them. So, I mean, for plus two, it's well recommended. But uh, at the international level, I have, uh, I have made a video, my youngest readers, somebody from grade six, somebody from grade eight, they are sending me reviews. Yeah. So in Nepal, yes, they can do it. It's not like I cannot say they cannot do it. But the most preferable readers are somebody, you know, above plus two label would be like, they will really enjoy and get the in-depth content of this novel. What is the connection between these two books? So what do you Okay, mean? actually Rocking Rolling Rolpa uh, talks about Rolpa and Josh spends is three months. Okay, that's the deal, he completes it. Now, uh, when I was writing it, I left some uh, points open, you know, whether I want to develop the book for the sequel or not, I left it with the audience. So when I started getting those raving reviews from my readers, they want uh, Josh to co uh, continue his journey further. So I thought like, okay, you know, when my all our readers demand it, I should take the pressure yes. happily and start writing it. So I let uh, Joss continue his journey and this makes a package. So it's a complete journey. If you read this one, yes, one adventure finished. When you read this book and the adventure added and Joss whole journey completes in both books. So this is actually the connection between Joss character completing his journeys. But if you just pick this book, one, let's say a series, one series complete, New adventure happens and that gets completed. But when you read this one, complete package. Okay. Uh, youth generations have no time in reading uh, because uh, most of our time we spend on a screen. Uh, but somewhere what I found is reading is must. Everyone must have in their life at least 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Thank you to you how you are adding brick to promote reading culture by you know promoting books in Bharatnagar and all over Nepal. Mm -hmm. Uh, thank you so much uh, for your important time for this Zindagi with Tariq where I talk with people. Yeah. I love to talk with people yeah. uh, to what they do in their life. Uh, I hope uh, this reading culture will grow in Nepal in the days to come because writers like you are needed in Nepal. Mm -hmm. uh, more, more and more. Because as uh, you also said, I have also said that uh, reading culture is very poor yet mm -hmm. in Nepal. Uh, so thank you so much for important time to me. Thank you, Tariq. The pleasure is all mine. And in this beautiful city of Biratnagar, talking to you with Jindagi with Tariq, where you want to talk to <laughs> different people. Yes. And thank you. The pleasure is all mine. Thank you, Tariq. Just promote reading culture. Okay.